Hello friends and welcome back to Violin Teacher YouTube channel. Today I want to discuss a piece called Emperor's Waltz and this was written by Strauss so it's legit classical piece but we often play this one just for fun. And I'm going to teach this one to you note by note. It's in a very easy key of G major and a very recognizable a tune that you'll be able to stick into first position all the way through. So I'm going to turn the camera angle down a little bit and we'll get started. Hey friends and welcome back to Violin Teacher YouTube channel. And this is the beginning of our study of Strauss's Emperor Waltz. So to begin this piece is in G major and we start, just scanning the music real quick, we should start our G scale probably just in the second octave here, starting three on D. Right? We don't play on the G string in this piece. All right, so let's do two bows per note. Try to get as close as I can there so you can see what my fingers are doing. And you won't see the bow very much, but let's see how this works for you. All right, three on D, two bows. Open A. One on A. Hold that one and set the two right beside it. C natural. D is a whole step away. Open E. E1, F sharp, second finger low, it's by the one, and it is G. All right, that's the top of the scale, the one octave G scale, G major scale that we're playing. But in this piece, we also play A, the third finger on E, and B natural, the fourth finger on E. So let's go ahead and play up there a little bit. Two bows on three. Let's play the four. All right, good. Let's repeat that four now and we'll go down. Just adding those extra notes because we play them in the piece. All right, now let's start descending on our G scale. Low two on E. Here we go. One on E, open E, third finger, two low, one, open A, third finger. That's the end of our G major scale. Now, I just want to take a moment to say, this piece is available for download in the description. So make sure you check the descriptions. There's a lot of information in there that I don't get to talk about in the videos. And I always put a lot of detail in my descriptions. So this piece and the music, if you read music, you can get it. And if not, well, we'll just do without it, won't we? Okay, so the first, if you do have the music, the first point I want to say, besides it being in G major, is that we have 3-4 time. And of course, waltzes are that way, aren't they? They're in 3-4 time. And you'll also notice in the music that there are slurs. So we're not going to start out with the slurs. We're going to just start out learning the piece without any slurs at all. If you look at the first measure, you'll see also kind of a dotted rhythm. So that's kind of common too. And so we're going to start out with first finger, and we're going to learn these first few notes and get that rhythm before we move to the next video. So there it is. Now, did you hear the ringing three? Make sure that you get that three ringing. 
that tells you you're playing in tune. So one, three, and then we're going to go to the open D. There we go. All right, this dotted rhythm then leads to the C natural. So that's what's after. The low two is after the D. So here it is. One, three, D, two, two on A. And the slur would be more comfortable there, so if you want to try it, here's how it's written. All, one, three, and then D, all on one bow. And that really feels good for a violin player because it's balanced. One bow per measure. But sometimes that's, a, that's challenging because right there you have three on A, you're playing the bow on the A, and then you have to lift the hand to hit the D, and then you have to come right back to the A, so it's kind of tricky string crossing there. If you want a little tip about um, the slurs and crossing the string, you can take away the fingers and practice just the bowing, it would be A, A, D, A. So you could practice this bowing. Think about one, two, three. One, two, three. Three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. That's really our goal, isn't it? So that much will, uh, that much technique will get you a long way in this piece because I'll just play a little bit more of it and you'll see what I mean. See that's, that third measure there had another string crossing. There it is again. Here it is again. So this is a really good set up for you, two, three, and one, two, three, to practice that open string bowing in preparation for doing slurs in Emperor Waltz by Strauss. All right, if you are having fun learning this waltz, I hope you will like the video, and let's move on to learn some more notes in this piece.